Hey Luba fans, I thought a few of you might appreciate the little project I'm working on and the progress I've made tonight figuring out. Um, I'm working on putting a linear actuator on my door, on my, uh, my dog house, and I was trying to figure out the best way to trigger all of this hardware over here. I have a 12 volt power supply and I have a relay down there that takes the uh, reverse current from my little switch here, and this is a micro switch. I think I have another one here somewhere that you can, uh, they'll show you so you can see. I don't know what I did with it, but it's a micro switch. I'll put all the, oh, here it is. This is a, uh, this is just a micro switch that changes polarity. It's a, what would you call that? A double pole single throw, I think is what that would be. So it, the commons on the bottom and the, the two legs are on the end there and if you flip it one way it's going from common to one leg and if you flip it the other way it's going from common to the other leg and uh, so i was really struggling to figure out a trigger point for the switch um you know because of the shape of the tires on the luba i was going to trigger off the tires like i've seen a lot of people do but because of the shape of the tires i was afraid I would get in here one time and trigger on a tread and then the next time get in here and then when the luba takes off it might you know rip the switch and I thought about going this way but then I don't know I just couldn't find any good way to make that work and I thought what if I could trigger off of the uh, device itself so I've got my luba here I've got it all powered down I can put it in and show you about what's going to happen when it pulls in here is uh, I don't have my charging station plugged in at the moment, but one of the things I was concerned about, I was gonna mount something to hold the switch like on the side of my board over there or something, but then I would have to make sure that my charging station is always in the right position. And I thought if I can find a way to put it on the charging station, that would be even better. So you'll see when this thing rolls back in here, if I've got it all set up right, I don't know if I've got it set up right, but um, you can see it triggered that switch and my linear actuator, if it was hooked up and actually hardwired to the door, is uh, closing the door. And then when Luba goes to pull out, it'll release that switch as soon as it starts rolling and it'll start the uh, actuator. I do have a question if this actuator is going to be fast enough. That's my only concern right now is that maybe the, uh, the bump might might catch the door before it gets all the way out we will see once i get it all put in place <laughs> i'm i'm a little concerned about that but i was really excited about how i figured out how to do the the switch on there and it all came actually from an accident i uh, ordered those micro switches from amazon and i accidentally stepped on one and realized how soft the little metal piece is that's on it and that you can bend it to do whatever you want it to do and um once I, that kind of came from a happy accident, I guess you'd say, and uh, figured out how that would work. So if you're doing something like that, that may be some ideas. And um, I may uh, try to put the part numbers on the video to this, uh, you know, wherever I host this video, I'll try to put the Amazon part numbers if you're interested in doing something like this. I, I might dress up this a little bit better. I might drill a hole down low and take the wire out the back or something, but I don't know. Nobody can see it in here, so it's early not that big of a deal so there you go Thanks. all right luba fans here's my my test of my new uh actuated door and uh luba's gonna back in here and we're gonna see if this all works <laughs> i'm like pretty excited so it's gonna back in and it's gonna actuate a switch that you can see there on the side which is gonna activate this relay power supply uh, linear actuator that's a six inch linear actuator and uh, let's see if this all works the way it's supposed to work oh, are you kidding me <laughs> it works it works so like I said in the first part of the video I'll uh, I'll put some part numbers and stuff down in the um, doobly-doo below and uh 
I, I do think this is going to be too slow. I haven't tested it coming out to see if it's too slow coming out. I'm, I'm gonna do that in the another part of the video here. I'm gonna tell it to go mow somewhere and see what that does. I might have to put a, t a uh, I might have to put my own device on the opening of it and have it open a couple minutes early and then leave the little switch there for the closure. I don't know, I'm, I'm coming up with ideas there, but as soon as I saw how slow this actuator was, I mean, it was a cheap one. It wasn't one of those real expensive ones, but uh, I, I don't know if you can see it here. My door, like I nailed the position of it all, like just by holding it and figuring it out. I can't believe I got it on the first try, but there it is. All right, here it is, Luba fans. At the end of the day, I um, ended up not using the switch that I worked so hard on getting the uh, on the uh, charger stand. I might bring that back around if I can figure out if there's a faster way to open that door uh, via some other uh, linear actuator. But I uh, I use Insteon home automation stuff, and what I did was set up a scene in Insteon and scheduled that about two minutes before I, I mow every day at 10 and so I just set that up to uh, open in the morning and um, at 10 o'clock so you know it'll it'll pop out right out there and then I have uh, you know had that scene set up to where I can I can uh, schedule that to shut back down at the end of the day i wish it opened and closed when luba came in and out but really my main concern is just making sure no animals crawl in there at night and make a home out of this place so that's that's what it's done here and i'll continue to work on it uh, for now that's what it is but uh there it is thanks for watching